Okay, let's <coughs> let's see the lesson number three: metals and non-metals. Elements that we have more than one hundred elements, and these elements can be classified in two groups: metals and non non-metals. Why do we classify them so that we can understand them? We can predict their properties. One of the most important parts, so let's study the properties of metals. One of the most important property by which uh, we can uh, we can identify that this is a metal is that they are ductile. Ductile means they can be drawn into thin wires. For example, gold is a very gold AU is gold and it is a very ductile animal, uh, very ductile metal. One gram of coal can be stretched, it can be drawn into wire up to a length of two kilometers. The metals are malleable, malleable, that means they can be hammered and made in thin sheets. They won't break unless not non-metals which, which are brittle. Metals are malleable. So metals are ductile, they are malleable and they are sonorous, that means they, they make sound. That's why they are, they are used in making school bells. Metals are also best, they are conductors of heat and electricity. And so they conduct heat. For example, the, uh, the silver and copper, they are the best conductors of heat. But then there are some metals like, like lead and mercury, which are comparatively poor conductors of heat. All the metals are in solid state, except for mercury, which exist in liquid state that you know now non metals they can exist exist uh, they most of them exist as not only as solids like metals they also exist as gases in fact most of them them are gases only but there but, but there is what there, but there is one exception a non metal which exists in liquid state in room to room temperature that is brahmin some common examples of solids Solid non-metals are this carbon. Whose electrops we have? We have two electrons of carbon, diamond, and graphite. Electrops means that an element can exist in two physically, uh, two physically different forms, although they are made up of same kind of atom because of the way the atoms are bind together, their structure, their the physical property differ. So, the, so this this phenomenon in which an element exists in two or more uh, different forms, physically different form, is known as allotropy. And carbon and graphite, although both of them are met, the element carbon, they are called as allotropes. And sulfur and iodine, iodine is the only non-metal which is lustrous. Otherwise, metals are lustrous, the shiny, not non-metals. But iodine is an exception. Although it is a non-metal, it is lustrous. Then gas, oxygen that we breathe, chlorine gas and hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is, is, the, is the element of which the stars are made up of. The sun is one of the stars, right? And it is made up of hydrogen. It converts into helium in a fusion reaction. Now metals have high melting points. MP means metals have high melting points. They do not melt easily. You need to heat them a lot. Only then they will they will melt. And that's why they are used in cooking. You know, our cooking vessels they are made up of metals. Especially copper was a very good. Also aluminium and all steel. Steel is a mixture of is an alloy of iron and other other elements. Alkali metals like lithium, sodium, and potassium. Although all metals are very hard, they, they exist in solid state, except for the mercury, which exists in liquid state. There are some metals which are very soft, and they have very low density, and they can they can be cut even with a knife. This is very interesting. The lithium, sodium, and potassium are those elements which can be cut with a knife, even though they are metals. They are very soft and have low density.